All right, welcome back everybody to the series on the brutal facts of lostness in the state of Alabama. Alabama is seen by almost everyone that you talk to to be a part of the Bible Belt. Everybody's a believer, right? Everybody grew up in church, everybody goes to church, everybody follows Jesus. But in this series, we're asking, is that really the case? Or do we see that changing pretty significantly? And so in the series, we're looking at all the 67 counties in Alabama. You can look at the channel and go back and find other videos on different counties. And we're looking at different pieces of information to try to determine what's the spiritual trajectory in the different counties of Alabama and what's the need for training in those different areas to produce abundant sowing of the gospel. And so through the series, we're really praying that the bride of Christ would really be awakened to her responsibility, to your responsibility as a follower of Jesus, to share the good news and make disciples of Jesus until there's no place left. And so today we are looking at and praying for uh, Washington County. And Washington County has a population of 16,000 326. And as we always know, when we're talking about lostness, it's really hard to do without actually going out, talking to people. And even then, it can be hard to identify uh, whether a person is, is really trusting in Jesus and following him, uh, unless you can really observe their life, right? So we know there are a lot of people in Alabama that profess a faith that they don't possess. And so um, in Washington County, though, we, we know this, there are 7,297 people that are unclaimed, and that really just means that they're not connected to any identified religious group in the county, and that makes up a whopping 43% of the overall population of the county. And just always keep in mind of that number, about 60% or so would be considered to be uninvitable to church. It means that no matter who they, uh, who may invite them, they are highly unlikely to come to a traditional brick and mortar church service on a Sunday morning. Uh, some of this information is pull, was pulled from the Association of Religion Data Archives, and you can find that for yourself on their website, which is thearda.com. The next data point we look at needs a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, we recognize no one denomination is representative of the kingdom of God. Um, but one thing that we do know is that in Alabama, at least, the kind of prevailing uh, denomination, the most common denomination, is Southern Baptist. And we can look at some numbers from the annual church profile of Southern Baptist churches to see some more trends going on in different counties. And so in Washington County, it's a part of the Washington Baptist Association. And in the last five years, there's been a reported 56% decline in baptisms among those churches in the Washington Association. In 2016, there were 73 baptisms. In 2021, there were 32. And so that's a 56% decline in five years. And then also there's been a 34% decline um, in worship attendance, just the number of people actually coming on a Sunday morning, uh, that number has dropped by 34 percent. Attendance in 2016 was 1,600, a little over 1,600, and now 2021 collectively, attendance is just a little over a thousand in those churches. 34 percent decline in attendance. So again, we keep seeing the same trend, don't we? Every video, uh, we see the same thing. We see very significant decline in baptisms. We see moderate to pretty serious decline in uh, participation. We see pretty high number of people that are unclaimed, that are not connected to any religious organization in the county. And so I think, at least for me, this series is really blowing up uh, the, the concept, what I would call the myth of a Bible Belt. Um, so... These trends should concern us, and these should these trends should make us ask the question, what's it going to take to see these things change? And so if you are a person out there watching this video and these things bother you, these things unsettle you, and you want to learn more about how to make disciples that make disciples until there's no place left, then reach out to the person that shared this video with you or leave a comment on this video on the YouTube channel, and we'll get together with you and see what we can do to schedule 
a training in your area. Um, until next time, keep sharing, keep making disciples until there's no place left.